be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Be making bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and turn those bell notifications on so you know when we're going to post. Also, leave in the comments any suggestions or anything you have in re reference to the video, okay? Without further ado, let's jump into today's video. All right, what I want to talk about today is how to fix uh, a timing issue when using the quick sampler, okay? Let's say that you are sampling something in Logic Pro 10 using the quick sampler. You go to play back the sample like to a beat and the sample is still off. It's not locking in place, meaning it's not automatically uh, time stretching it within the quick sampler and all that type of stuff. So what we're going to do, I'm, I have a melody here that I created or a sample type vibe that I create. I'm going to let you hear it. I'm going to drop it into the uh, quick sampler, create a small little quick little beat, show you that it's off, and then I'm going to show you how to fix it. All right, so let's check it out. This is a sample. You can already kind of hear that it's off, but let's just keep on going. I'm going to throw it over here into this quick sample like so. We're going to mute it out. And then um, I'm just going to go ahead and lay down a track here. All right, cool. So normally what you would do to lock it in place, you would hit this and you make sure you hit the follow tempo. Right. So let's do that. And let's go ahead and do it. It's streaming annoying. You know, if you listen to that metronome and then listen to the sample with it, I mean, it's off. It's super off. But what I'll do is I'll lay down a quick little drum beats just so you can see or hear it like visibly that is that is that is definitely off. So let me pull up this clap. We'll just throw a clap in here. You can already hear it, man. You can already hear it. It's annoying. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Hold on. Let me just throw some hi hats. The hi hats is really what's gonna, you know, help you to really see that this Jane is super off. Um, Cause some, sometimes if you can kind of not hear it, like say, would you just do the clap? super off all right so normally you just pretty much have to start with a whole new beat and just say forget it and whatever but what i'm going to show you how to do is do this um go ahead and right click on the actual sample after you laid it down in the quick sampler just right click on it and what we're going to do is bounce it in place all right you can give it a name if you want. I'm not going to do it for this example. But what this is going to do now is create an audio version, an audio file of that sample. And once you create the audio file, what you can do now is turn on your flex tool. OK, and now what it's going to do is you see these little lines. Basically, I can come around here and move the sample around to fit how it's supposed to you know hit so let's just listen to it and then anywhere where it's like off i'll just move it or nudge it some and we'll show you how to do it let's check it out all right so for instance this part right here is probably should be moved to this two so let's work just take this and then i'm just going to move it like that And that almost might have fixed the whole thing. Let's check it out. Okay, so still a lot of issues on here. Let's try moving some more. Um, right here, I noticed it kind of was a little off, so I'll take this guy and move it to this 2.3.
Okay, and let's take this guy right here and we're gonna move it to three. I can already tell this is probably gonna be over here and we'll probably be fine. Let's check it out. All right, so yeah, it's a quick workaround here. And then what you could do is after you already, you know, you fix the sample within uh, with, the, with the flex tool, you can just take this and re-drop it back into the quick sampler okay and mute this other stuff out here and now I can lay down my sample properly you know in different keys and all that okay so I'll go over here to the sample we'll go ahead and turn that back on the this flex tool and the follow tempo and now if I want to I can do it in different um, octaves or whatever so let's let's do one octave low let's go like that perfectly mixed uh, matched up now you feel me yeah it's a little bit of a work it's a little bit of a work around but i mean the overall like result is there so like you say you know if i want to do an octave above you feel me let's let's do it So far, that's the best way to fix that time issue within the quick sampler. So, man, that's the video for the day. Please, again, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.